Hi, I'm Sharon Bill. Welcome to my Theory Tuition series where I'm working with you step by step through the ABRSM Theory grades. There are lots of resources available to help you on my website. If you go to SharonBill.com, you can access the free PDF information sheets that I make frequent reference to. All the information you need is here. They're available in US letter and A4 and they accompany each step of this series. There's a page on my website with links to all of my YouTube video tutorials and you can also find information about the books that I have available. If it is that you're working towards taking this exam, I've written a book, How to Take Your ABRSM Music Theory Exam. It's full of tips and techniques on how to best prepare for the exam and also how to best make use of the time when you're sitting in the exam room taking the actual paper. So if you go to SharonBill.com, it's all there. If you can give me a like, that'd be great. And subscribe to my channel so you stay updated. There's loads more to come. Let's crack on now with the subject of compound time. So we're now moving to page 15 in your ABRSM Music Theory and Practice Workbook. And then if you turn in your PDF sheets, we're moving to section E, but we're going to the second page of E. E continued. And we're going to be looking at converting from compound time to simple time or vice versa. So all the things that I'm going to be telling you throughout this exercise are all sort of in summary here on this PDF document for you to look back and revise through. So you can look at that for extra help too. Now in principle it's really actually quite a simple thing to do, it sounds really complicated but when we're going from simple time to compound time all as we're doing is we're going from groups of two to groups of three so we're actually stretching what it is that we do because we're going from a single crotchet oops getting carried away we're going from a single unit of two to a single unit of three and so we've got to just stretch the timing and so we do that by adding a dot however if we're going from compound to simple, we're going the other way, so we remove the dot and add a triplet because we're now squishing the time from a group of three to a group of two, so we're sort of squashing that timing in and we've got to make it into, fit into a smaller time frame and so we remove the dot or we add a triplet sign to squish that group of three into a group of two and it's as simple as that, it's either remove a dot and add a triplet or remove the triplet and add a dot. You've just got to think are we stretching or are we squishing the time value. So let's look at the example in exercise 6 and see what they've done here. So we're going to use a simple time melody and a compound time melody and we're going to make it sound exactly the same. The sound of the music shouldn't change at all, we're just rewriting the melodies using the new time signatures. So here we're going from simple time to compound time, so we've actually got to stretch the time values, we've got to make them last longer. So we remove a triplet sign for each group of three and then we add a dot to make it last longer. So you can see there's our group of three, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, and so on here, one, two, three. So this now is in compound time, which is in groups of three, and we've done that by removing these triplet sign, which actually squished the timings. Let's have a look at the next one, where now we're going from a compound time signature a group of three to a simple time signature which is a group of two or no dot and we do that by squishing we've got to restrict the time duration now because we've got to fit into a smaller time frame so we add a triplet sign to make that three in the time of two and we remove the dot so that now it's a group of two, not a group of three. So it's just thinking where these groups of three are. And so here 
we've removed the dot and then we've got there's a group of three there's a group remove the dot there's a group of three and that we've squished by using a triplet sign so it's quite simple really just have a little go and you'll soon get the hang of that press pause have a go at these two exercises here and then um, we'll have a look at that together so if you press pause and just have a little go let's have a look at these first two together so I'm hoping that you've had a little go at this on your own Let's just map out the music. It doesn't matter if you get it wrong, you can always try again. And over the page, there's lots more examples, so we'll get a good crack at this. So we're going from simple time, which is groups of two, to compound time, which is groups of three. So we've got to stretch the timings. So we have to stretch the timing by adding a dot, or we stretch the timing here into a group of three by just removing that triplet sign and so now it's a legitimate group of three rather than three squished into the time of two so it's actually really really easy to do so we don't need that triplet sign anymore but now here we'll need to add a dot to just stretch that into a group of three and then here, to stretch this into a group of three, all we need to do is remove that triplet sign and the effect will be exactly the same. And then here, to make this into compound from a group of two to a group of three, we just add a dot. Make sure I've got all of the bits and bobs, get the ties in place, and that's it. Let's have a go at this next one. Just get all the bar lines in place. I keep saying, but it's really important, just keep your bars aligned and keep your notes aligned, and that way you're not going to lose track where you are in the music. It's easy to just run out of space and forget which note you're on, so keep it aligned so you know exactly where you are. So now we're going from compound time which is a group of three to simple time which is a group of two so we're going to have to squish those timings and we do that by either removing the dot or adding a triplet so that in effect will just squish those timings and it will now fit so no dot required no dot required but then to make this group of three fit into a group of two, we add a triplet sign. The process is the same here. Perhaps if you use a ruler, you'll be a little bit neater. I'm just trying to be quick. Now here, you just need to recognise, like we did in grade two, this is still a group of three, and so we still need to add a triplet. Again, this is an obvious group of three, so we add a triplet. And again, this is still a group of three, one, two, three, and so we add a triplet sign in that squishy three into the time of two. Here again, this is an obvious group of three. So that needs a triplet adding. And again, another group of three, which is less obvious to begin with. One, two, three, still needs a triplet adding to it. So over the page, if we turn to page 16, there's lots more of the same. And so let's quickly go through this. If you want to press pause and have a go at these on your own first, if you haven't done so already, and then re-access into the video and just check your answers. It doesn't matter if you've got it wrong. We're only using a pencil. I'm using a propelling pencil here. I'll just get a little bit more pencil to go at. So I'm hoping you've had a go at this yourself. So let's just press on through this quickly. And let's just look what's going on here so we're going from 
simple time groups of two to compound time groups of three. So we need to remove the triplet signs and add a dot. So here we go. I'll just try and be quick. Most of this now, we've done all the thinking. It's just now just writing out the mechanics of the music to show that we understand what to do. Again, add a dot. Remove these triplets. Remove these triplets. Add a dot. Add a dot. So I'll just copy this first bit, but I don't really need to keep drawing it all because that's it, you've got the principle. By all means, use a ruler. So you can see there what we've done. So this last bar would have dotty crotchet, dotty crotchet at the end. There we go. Let's look at the next one. So here again, we're going from now, we're going from compound to simple. They're both in triple time, but this is triple compound, this is triple simple. And so we've got to squish into a shorter time frame, and we would do that by removing the dots and adding a triplet. Remove the dot, add a triplet, add a triplet, remove the dot. And so you literally need to copy it out so that it would look like that. I'll just do the first couple of magic. It's not a lot to write. Let's see how we go. So remove the dot, remove the dot, remove the dot. Now to squish the time, add triplet, remove the dot. add a triplet and then remove the dot at the end. So there we add a triplet to that one, remove the dot at the end. Okay let's press on. Once you've got it, you know by all means you need to write out every single note here but once you've got the principle there's no point watching me just copying lots of examples. So here we're in common time which is 4-4 four, four, which is simple time we're in groups of two and we're going to compound time 12-8 which is quadruple compound and so we've got to stretch the timings now so what we will do is we will add a dot to make those longer into compound groups and then remove the triplet remove the triplet add a dot remove the triplets add a dot Remove the triplets, add a dot. So I'll just copy that first bar for you to get the gist. Let's just copy now, but we add a dot. Add a dot. And now we don't need those triplet signs. We remove those triplet signs so they're now they're legitimately groups of three in compound time and so on to the end of that. Let's have a look at the next one. And so now let's move on to the next one. So we'll just have a look at F. Oh, I've got the wrong pencil. I'll use this one, it's a bit sharper. So we're going to be going from compound time to simple time. So we're going from four groups of three to four groups of two and so we've got to squish it and we will do that by removing a dot and adding a triplet just the same as before so let's just uh, write that out so no need to put dots now because we want it to be a group of two not a group of three and so we're just sort of contracting that time No need for a dot, no need for a dot, no need for a dot. So you just have to think a bit here and look where the group of three is. There's our group of three, one, two, three. So we still have the one, two, three, but then we have to add a triplet to shrink that down. No dot there. There we go. Just um, 
tidy that ball line up a little bit. There we go. So carrying on, no dot, no dot. And then here is our group of three, here. One, two, three, and so we need to have those three in the time of two and a triplet will do that job for us. No dot required, and then here we have a group of three. One, two, oh, no dot required, so don't put a dot in. Carried away, just copying, be careful there. And then there's our group of one, two, three that will need a triplet adding. There we go, etc. There we go. Let's have a look at this next one. This one again, it's mostly to do with just copying. So let's just think about this. We'll go a bit slower now. We're nearing the end. And we'll just take these at a steadier pace. So we're going from simple time to compound time. And so we need to visualize our groups of three. So we need to add a dot or remove a triplet sign. So actually, this one, we need to add a dot and then just remove the triplet sign. There's our group of three, so there's group one, group two. Remove the triplet sign. So we've definitely got a legitimate one, two, three. Remove the triplet sign, one, two, three. You can see clearly your groups of three. Remove the triplet sign. There. And there we can easily see a group of three I'm floating a bit too high up here. Let's just um, tidy this up a little bit. Too busy concentrating on the timing. Let's just bring that down. The ledger lines are floating higher and higher. That's not good practice. There we go. And all we need to do one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three. Remove those triplet signs. Remove the triplet sign. And then add a dot. Add a dot. There we go. Last one. So we'll just take a time again on this one and work all the way through to the end just to be absolutely sure that it's clear. So we're going from compound time to simple time. So we've got to squish the timings. So we remove a dot or we add a triplet. Remove a dot, add a triplet. And you can see where those groups of three, one, two, three, have been squished into a group of two. One, two, three and the triplet squishes it into a group of two. Remove the dot, add a triplet. So let's go through this one. So we're restricting the time, we're squishing it from groups of three to groups of two. Squishing it, that's not a very technical term, is it? Just by removing a dot, or adding a triplet. So that's a tie and then we bracket it with a triplet. Remove the dot, don't forget your tie, make sure that looks like it's supposed to. Add a triplet, remove the dot, and then here you can see there's your group of three, one, two and a half, three. And so that will be needing a triplet sign because it makes a group of three into the time of a group of two. Remove the dot here, one, two, three.
three, that's another group of three. It's not always so obvious which is your group of three. You've just got to get your maths going and count it carefully. So there's our group of three. Remove the dot. Oh, she said. Remove the dot. I'm just copying now. And then remove the dot. There we go. I hope that's been helpful to you. I do realise it's a tricky subject. We'll get another go at this later on in the book, so don't worry, that's not quite the end of it. But if you're really not quite sure, go, up, go back and go over that again. I do hope that's been helpful to you. If you can give me a like, that'd be fab. Subscribe to my channel, that way you'll stay updated. And do please go to SharonBill.com. It's all there for you, lots of resource to help you. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time. Bye.